Hello everyone, welcome to Educers. This video will help you in understanding the flow of our Educers school management software. Once we do the setup, you will be getting the login credentials as username and password to your registered email ID or mobile number. If you don't receive the credentials, even after the setup is done, you can reach our support team. Also, you can create your own password using forget password option in the login page. Now, use your browser and enter the URL as www.educers.co slash school to open the login page. Use your credentials to login into the application. So, let us start with the flow of the application. First, we have to configure academic year. Student staff data cannot be registered without academic year configuration. So let us go to academic setup, academic year screen. Click on plus icon now and configure the academic year. Select academic year like 2019-20, 22-21 accordingly. Select your year type as current year, previous year or next year accordingly. Select the curriculum as CBSC, ICSC. Select the medium as English or Hindi. In depending on the medium you teach, select school start time and end time according to your timings also select the shift type for the particular academic year select from class to to class for this academic year also school start date and end date curriculum groups for existing drop down if the exact curriculum group is not available click on the curriculum group button the curriculum group button is present in the main window and configure the curriculum groups once the academic year is configured then current year will be reflected in the blue color and previous year in reflect in pink and next year will be in green color once the academic year creation is done then you can register the staff in the staff management and the students in the student management if you want to do registrations later, then you can continue with the configurations of subject sections in the academic setup. Next step, student admissions. Go to campus setup, user registrations, student admission screen. In this screen, we can add the student admission details like personal details, family details, language proficiency, admission enrolling information, uploading the documents submitted by the student at the time of admissions, etc. N number of students can be registered based on the availability of the seats and these details can be modified by the school officials at any time. Click on add user icon to add the student admission details enter all the required data and save the data in the fields to register the students asterisk symbol fields are mandatory it's optional to fill the data other than mandatory fields in enrolling information we will be selecting the students admission information such as for which academic year they are enrolling curriculum codes and classes are mandatory student photos can be uploaded using upload photo optional and Document using upload document option in the same screen. Transportation and dormitory facilities can be assigned to the student by enrolling bus and dormitory button. By default, we will be providing one application type in the drop down. If you need more types in the drop down, just configure in the master settings screen by selecting inquiry type. Similarly, while selecting occupation types in the family details, go to data. To get the data in the drop down list, you have to add new types in the master settings screen. Once the application status is confirmed, a notification will be sent automatically to the parent or the student to the registered mobile number or email ID to their register registration has been successfully done. To understand the notification configurations, let us go back to the application master. To understand the notification configuration, let us go back to the application master notification templates, default templates. 
here by default we are providing few templates if you if you want to send notification for this templates you can create the matter and save if you want to create own template just click on plus icon template and give your format and enter the matter you can also use the right side columns email id username etc and create the template and save next notification alert master notification alert configurations by default we are giving some alert types if you want to send notification to those alert types you need to checklist to whom you are sending and how they have to receive the notifications so just checklist whether it has to go in push message internal mail or external mail and save it accordingly the notific notification will be reflected to their respective persons deletion of the data is not possible at your end once student application status is confirmed but data can be updated contact our support team for any deletion of sub data use bulk import students option in there if there are large number of students make sure excel sheets in the is in proper format to ensure importing the data without error you can even download the load run report to check the errors of file records you can make appropriate changes for the file records and reload or import again next step staff management as a super admin you will be assigning the work to the different staff according to the roles and designations so now we have to go to departments and designation screen go to campus master application master departments and designation screen first the department configuration we need to go to configuration screen in that screen you can add all the department present in the institution like it department and accounts department next we have to go to designation screen here we can add all the available designations in the designation alias also we can configure the teaching plan details for the staff in the staff management screen only for whose job designation is is teaching option enable next department and designation mapping screen here you need to map under which department the designation should be next step staff management go to user management screen staff management personal profile in this screen enter all the required data and save the data in the fields to register the staff asterisk symbol fields are mandatory it's optional to fill the data other than mandatory fields staff can be assigned to the departments based on their specializations management can register the staff just checklisting add single user button beside add user use bulk import option if there are a large number of staff make sure excel sheet in the proper format to ensure importing the data without errors you can even download the load run report to check the errors for failed records you can make appropriate changes for the filed records and reload or import again while registering staff if you have not specified the genuine email id then application will be generated automatic email id for the each staff you can reset staff password on the user maintenance screen next step role authorizations go to user management screen role authorizations in this screen we can give access of the screens to the users based on their user role in branch level we can even give an access as a read only and read and write for the selected screens user role wise access next step role authorization go to user management role authorization screen 
in this screen we can give access of the screens to the users based on their roles in the branch level we can even give an access as a read only and read and write for the selected screens user role wise access custom user authorizations here we can give access to the screen username wise by choosing the department for the selected modules and screens username wise or individually faculty wise now let us go back to academic setup to complete further configurations go to academic setup subject management screen in this screen we add list of subjects for the individual classes belonging to the respective curriculum codes this can be done individually by selecting plus icon and enter the data for the required fields based on the subjects we can keep the subject groups as a first language and second language etc which can be selected from the drop down list to include one particular subject into the timetable then enable include in timetable option if the subject is co curriculum then enable is co curriculum option if management has decided to assign different subjects in one time slot then include those particular subjects into the different groups we cannot include theory and other subjects into the groups create subject details can be edited using edit option in the action column management can also delete multiple subjects at a time management can also dump all the subject list at once using an excel sheet present in the input fill the information in the excel sheet with given format and upload the process the file then all the subjects will be dumped into the screen which takes less than 5 seconds management can view the count of the success record and fail records and total records of the file even student admissions is confirmed they need to be assigned to a particular sections then only we can see them in the student management screen for any data to be added or reflected to the student so now we are going to do section management then student to section management next step section management in this screen we create n number of sections for the particular curriculum code and class they can also define the maximum strength max students to be allocated to a section for the created sections for one class duplicate sections are not acceptable you can configure the sections by clicking plus icon and enter the data in the mandatory fields primary and secondary class faculties like class teachers can also be assigned to monitor the students in the section option secondary faculty can act as a backup in the absence of primary faculty next step student to section screen after sections are created now in this screen we assign the students to respective sections in student admission screen once the student admission is confirmed the student will reflect in the student to section in unassigned screen you can see the unassigned students for the selected curriculum code and class to assign all the students to the sections at a time the checklist box which is available in the section select column if you want to assign few students to the sections then enable the check box for individual student after selecting the students now select the section from the allocate to section drop down and save hope you understood the flow of the school management software thank you